the Penn State quarterback room, the Penn State 2021 quarterback competition. A lot of different things going on, not just from the competition standpoint, but from are we going to have more depth standpoint? Do we have enough scholarship players? Some of that's been talked about in the media before, and, and I'll link some of those articles below if you're interested. And James Franklin has commented on it and saying, uh, or at least expressing that they could go after someone in the transfer portal, which would not be surprised. However, I think it goes. I think it's safe to say that it is Sean Clifford's job to lose, right? I think that's fair with what he's done in the past, and I know last year. I mean, <clears throat> definitely it was not his best year and was not something that he's probably uh, happy about and neither are Penn State fans right they're not happy about the season in general but I think what Sean Clifford showed at the end of the season and, and what he showed was that he does have tool sets and with new OC Mike Yurcich coming in I think he I think Yurcich is going to be able to uh, put Clifford in situations to succeed which we're going to watch this film here in a second right uh, so we got Sean Clifford and, and two younger guys who uh, are, are you know participating in spring ball as it's going on right now and I what I think is going to happen is after spring ball, you know, is, is over for teams. I think we're going to see another influx of quarterbacks going to the transfer portal, like we saw an influx of quarterbacks before spring ball, like during you know the the, the, the new year of January or so. I think we're going to see that again uh, after spring ball because quarterbacks are going to be, see the you know they're going to see what's written on the wall. They're going to see okay, I'm not getting reps. I'm going to throw my name in. So I think it's possible we see Penn State pick a guy up from the transfer portal, whether that is to come in and compete for a starting job, just to bring in for, uh, you know, a reinforcement sake for depth, whatever it may be, I would not be surprised. And not to mention the fact they've lost two quarterbacks to the transfer portal this year, right? So with all that said, let's dive into Sean Clifford here and very shortly, but let's talk about why I think he can be good with Mike Yurcich, right? Look at Yurcich's, look at, excuse me, that's kind of a, a mouthful to say, but look at his track record. Oklahoma State OC, from 2013 to 2018, passing game coordinator and quarterback coach 2019, OC 2020 at um, at Texas, and I, I think I'm right to say he was the the passing game co coach at Ohio State in 2019. So he's coached he's coached several NFL guys, right? Several guys from Oklahoma, Oklahoma State that went to the NFL. Justin Fields gonna be a first round pick. Sam Ellinger he's gonna be a draft pick this year as well. So I think he knows what it takes to to get the best out of each quarterback, and I think he's gonna be able to put. Sean Clifford in a position to succeed. We're going to look at Clifford's tool sets here in a second in the film, and we're going to kind of realize, okay, Clifford, you know, while he didn't have the best year last year, he still showed that he has tools that, and that if used correctly, he can be a pretty good quarterback, right? Like, take away the first five games. First five games, not a good stretch, right? Eight interceptions. They lost five. Every Penn State fan knows that it was not Sean Clifford's best stretch. It was probably his worst stretch of football. He was in college. The last four games... He's had seven total touchdowns, only one interception. Another thing that he did well was he he didn't take as many sacks as he did the first five games, right? He, the, the game against Illinois, I think the sacks were still up to that, that four-ish range. But besides that, like the other the four games they won, he, he did a good job protecting the football and not taking unnecessary sacks. So I think that's where you saw improvement. But again, um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun room to talk about in general because there's a lot of questions going on. But let's just dive into some Sean Clifford film, why he can be a good quarterback, and why I think Mike Yurcich is going to be able to come in and really take uh, Sean Clifford to the next level and raise his ceiling, if you will. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and dive into this uh, Sean Clifford film. So this, this clip is a good example of Clifford's ability to throw the ball on the run and what his legs can do to help open up the run and help him just get comfortable, right? You're going to see it's actually a decent pocket. He probably doesn't have to leave the pocket to make this throw. However, he's comfortable using his legs. He's comfortable outside the pocket, so he chooses to do so here and throws a good ball. But it's just a good example of his tool set to throw the ball on the run and to use his legs to open up the passing game. And uh, this is something that I think Penn State will probably implement a lot more, even though it wasn't designed like this. I think there'll be some creativity and some uh, creative schemes that will design more plays to get Clifford out in the run and, and out outside the pocket throwing the ball uh, just with, with the new OC the new system and the quarterbacks that the new OC has worked with in the past right so uh, again you can argue he needs to stay in the pocket here but ends up being a good completion good downfield play so I like what he does here and he's comfortable doing this right so this is something that they're going to continue to build on let's go ahead and watch the play watch the end zone angle and the uh, behind the center angle watch him just take off this receiver is wide open right you could have argued you could have made that play from the pocket, but again, was comfortable outside the run. You just you, you see his ability to throw outside uh, on the run. We're gonna be able to watch it here one more time. <clears throat> again, Michigan only brings three. There's not a lot of pressure, uh, so Michigan drops back in zone, and that guy that that inside slot receiver is wide open due to that zone scheme. Let's watch Clifford here. Watch doesn't need to get out, but he does. Eyes downfield, good ball on the run. Uh, something that's very good in his tool set.
So here's another example that's truly demonstrating uh, Clifford's threat running the ball and, and showing his athleticism. I think he's probably, everyone knows that he, he's a good mobile quarterback, but I think he's just more athletic than people even give him credit for. And, and you're going to see his burst of acceleration, how quickly he can get the top speed is pretty impressive. And I think this is something that the, the new offensive scheme can kind of take into play and kind of build more around. Don't force him to try to be in the pocket. Like, get him out. Use him a bit more like a Trace McSurley type deal. Like, use those legs to help open up the running game, or to help open up the passing game, excuse me. But then when you use those legs, you also get plays like we're about to see here. It's nearly a, it's a 28-ish yard touchdown run where you see good acceleration. He hits the whole hard let's go ahead and watch the play here it's a it's a great run by Clifford takes a step watch him hit the hole right through there and watch him accelerate good move there then he's able to beat the DBs to the end zone awesome play by Clifford we're really going to see it with this end zone angle coming up next hit his burst of acceleration and does a good job reading the hole as well we'll watch it here Stops. So he sees he's going through that hole. He gets up there very quickly, right? He is able to evade a tackler here and another tackler coming up here. Dodges one and then is able to, to hide till it to the end zone. Watch his acceleration right here as we play it. Accelerates up. Next guy miss and is able to beat the DBs to the end zone. Good job, Sean Clifford. So this is after those two plays we just watched the Michigan game, and you can see, okay, Sean Clifford's comfortable. He, he's had some success running the ball and throwing the ball due to his leg, so he, he's comfortable. So I think finding an offensive scheme that gets Sean Clifford comfortable, and then he's efficient when he's comfortable, right? We're going to see a good read here, a good efficient strike here on a slant. Uh, but I think it's just because he's comfortable, and, and he, he's able to use his ability that, you know, that he has. And so I think with that offensive scheme coming in, they can use him on the run game a little bit more often, maybe early in the game, get some easy completions, which sounds basic, but sometimes gets forgotten about when you get in the heat of heat of a game. But if you kind of can commit to getting him comfortable, he's able to make efficient throws and take care of the ball. So it's right here that the, the coverage is, is cover one, man under. So we got man through here. we got one up top safety. And we know, so only these three guys are going to run the routes. The tight end stays in. The running back stays in. So this backer and this backer or DB, depending on uh, who it is, they are taking these guys, they're manned up here, so when they see these guys aren't taking a route, they, of course, rush the passer, and we're going to see Sean Clifford stay in the pocket and deliver a good strike on a slant from this uh, outside slot receiver, this and this receiver being the inside slot receiver. So let's go ahead and watch the play here. We'll see what I'm talking about. Big blitz. Good move here. He's efficient. Good pocket. He's able to stand in, throw a strike to this receiver for a good first down. Looks simple, but it's because he's comfortable and ready to roll. Let's go ahead and watch from the end zone angle. Again, we have the tight end that stays in the block. Running back stays in the block. So this DB and this backer, when they see their guy stay in, they blitz. We'll watch them. They blitz. This guy's on a blitz. Good efficient throw. Good job there. I wanted to show this play real quick as well. It's just a good example of Clifford improvising and just hammers down and hammers home the point of Man, he's got athleticism. He's a good runner. Let's let's you know make that more of a centerpiece of the Penn State offense, if you will. Uh, this is a great job in improvising here and making this a big play on the ground. Let's go ahead and watch it here. We'll just watch one clip. This is a sideline view. Watch him escape pressure. Gets upfield. Makes the guy miss. Gets north and south. Athletic guy. Athletic quarterback. So again, just four clips off from the Michigan game. There's one of his better games last year. But I think it does a good job of showing that he still has tools, he has skills to work with, and he just needs kind of the right OC to come in and kind of put them all together. And like we saw previously with such as quarterbacks, they all tend to be able to run the ball somehow, some way, at least be elusive enough. And Sean Clifford's a deceivingly good athlete, right? I think he's even, people know he has mobility, he's a better athlete than, than even people think. Uh, but they're gonna, his legs are going to help put him in a position to succeed as a thrower, take care of the football, and just limit turnovers and unwarranted sacks. And I think Uri Setch is going to be able to come in, at least that's the hope, come in and help Sean, Sean Clifford get that next level. And not just that, but help develop the other quarterbacks in the roster because, I mean, it still is technically probably a competition, even though it's Sean Clifford's job to lose. But I, I think Sean Clifford can take the next step with the new OC and the new offensive scheme coming in. So, with all that said, I'm excited for the Penn State room and the Penn State quarterback uh, future, and I, I think they're going to be able to take the next step this year. Uh, again, if you like quarterback content, 
quarterback film breakdowns like this, any quarterback content in general. If you like hearing how we screen and assess quarterback from a postural range of motion standpoint, what we do in the weight room and how that transfers to the field, we put all that type of videos out on this channel. Uh, we enjoy any quarterback related content. So if you like that type of stuff, please consider giving us a sub subscription, uh, like the video if you like it, feel free to leave any comments, like to interact and just let us know what we can do better. If you have any suggestions or any other quarterbacks or quarterback competitions you want to see us break down or quarterback topics in general, we will get to that. We thank y'all for watching, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.